So let me explain the problem in this code. If you take a look at this, there's obviously a int where we can like you put a number and then that's the amount of rows. And in the for loop we iterate to all of the rows and then in the second for loop is the part where it starts to get interesting. And here is the main problem. So what I'm doing over here is taking our index from the first for loop and making it a plus. Obviously this is not what we want to do. And then what I'm doing is I'm making a number plus so it becomes the next number and then it continues which gives this output which I don't want. But did you wonder how this is getting added by plus one? Now we're gonna see how the index value is causing this. So if we write just print i right over here, you can see that this makes a whole difference. So if we st start, it becomes first at zero and it prints everything. And then if we see it's at one and prints, it removes one index, it starts from two. And then if we see if it is two and it starts at three and so on. But anyways, what we're gonna do now is make this value negative so it starts from zero, which is what we want. And then we start the whole counting from zero, then add i plus one, which starts the entire thing from zero and then goes zero plus one, and then one plus two, and then two, and then like plus one plus one plus one. It keeps going plus one, which gives the output that we want.